My name is Dave. Uh, what I do here is um, I'm the coordinator of the You Fix It Bike Work, so I, I coordinate or I pretend to coordinate. Um, really what I do is a little bit of, of everything and what we do is uh, play with bikes mostly and uh, play with kids. So uh, this is the shop itself um, where we do most of our things. We've got a couple of workstations where people can uh, kind of work on their bikes and all that. Um, our lovely bins of total spare parts. Um, there's a fellow named Richard who uh, had a bike shop who was going out of business and he gave us five or six truckloads of bikes and uh, we opened up and the first day that uh, we were here we had a little cardboard sign out front that said bike works and uh, there was five kids waiting for us and the next day um, we still had the little sign but there were 15 kids waiting for us to arrive and it just kept going from there. You can put a little bit more in. And part of what keeps us going is that the Cowichan Valley is incredibly generous so that all the bikes that are here are ones that have been donated to us. Right? They're donated from uh, individuals. Right? It's not uncommon to have a pickup truck just show up and unload, start unloading bikes. Um, the other bike shops bring us bikes that uh, they, they're not interested in anymore. And, uh, uh, some of the bike retailers in town, the, you know, the Walmarts of town, show up with bikes that they have returned. Um, so that's important, I think. The other thing I think is um, is finding staff that is passionate uh, passionate about what they do, um, and I think that's really the thing that has sustained us. Does anybody got some pointy? There's mm -hmm. some, still some errands at the oh, tire. This is the end of the... There is a huge connection between mental health, keeping busy, um, and all of that. What I've discovered over the years is that um, there's some certain things that kids need in order to thrive. And access to some creativity, some place where they can discover their passion, their interests, uh, is hugely important for them. Um, and some place where they can matter is really important, uh, some place they belong. So that um, you know, when they hit a dark point in their life, they can sit there and, and think, you know, who believes in me, right? And have people that they can remember, yeah, that person saw something in me that was important, that mattered. Um, and from that, be inspired to go on to, uh, to, to live their life in a productive and healthy way. Okay. You're welcome. Yeah. Yeah, you got All the bikes are 20 bucks, um, which means, you know, since we pay them for, we pay them $5 an hour, each bike is about uh, four hours worth of work. Um, and we will put them to work um, taking bikes apart, putting bikes together, um, doing something for one of the adults that comes in, helping out another kid, anything at all that we can get them to do that um, is helpful to the shop. We certainly will connect youth up with more formal services as we think they, as they need it, right? So if someone's coming in and expressing some difficulties that uh, are beyond what we can manage here, we do our best to connect them up with mental health services or counseling services, um, wherever those may be, whether it's in the First Nation community, whether it's in the, uh, the non-First non Nations community. It's in a bad spot because you get all the ridges and it's hard to get a good seal around those. So let's blow this one up huge and see. One uh, therapist from uh, uh, Child and Youth Mental Health comes over with one of his clients every Friday and they work at building, uh, working at building the, uh, the young person a bike um, and connecting him into more of the, uh, the positive youth in the community. We also have a number of kids who have come over from youth probation to uh, do community hours here. And I remember the first time that happened, it was um, um, the call came in and he said, oh, sure we'd have him come, but why does he want to do it here? And the guy said, well, 
he says it's his community. This is where he belongs and this is where he wants to do, do his hours. That's where he wants to contribute. You know, this is primarily youth-based. I would love to see um, it develop a little bit more of an adult focus, right? Like uh, we've talked about uh, uh, opening during the day when the kids are in school and having um, some of the adults come in, some of the uh, more homeless, marginally housed folks come in and um, use the shop. I think that's a really nice connection to, uh, to develop is between the kids and the, uh, some of those adults. One of the things that uh, Duncan has struggled with forever is a youth center. And um, we end up having small places for youth. Uh, it would be great to have one big one where a number of the youth programs run out of that we could be part of. I think that would be, uh, be an aid to sustainability.